Welcome back to our channel, food enthusiasts, where history comes alive. Where we bring amazing culinary adventures to you, full of fantastic and epic moments. We often find heroes and pioneers, but rarely do we delve into the personal quirks that made them human. Today we are going to uncover the culinary curiosities of a man who shaped a nation, George Washington. Revered as the father of the nation, his life and legacy have been meticulously scrutinized by historians for centuries. But amidst the tales of his leadership, bravery and statesmanship, there lies a lesser known aspect of his persona and his culinary preferences. Although he is known for leading the Continental Army to victory and crossing the Delaware, have you ever wondered about George Washington's food preferences? His favorite recipes and dishes? From his love for certain breakfast treats to the lavish dinners at Mount Vernon, prepare to have your perceptions of colonial cuisine utterly transformed. So buckle up, history buffs, because we're about to delve into the fascinating culinary and leisure habits of America's first president. In American history, only few names resonate as powerfully as George Washington, a name synonymous with liberty and leadership, but behind the stoic portraits lay a man with a taste for the unique and the unexplained. In today's fascinating episode, we're taking a closer look at what tickled George Washington's taste buds. So let's delve into George Washington's unexplained taste revelations. Stick around as we dive into a culinary journey back in time, revealing some dishes that might just surprise you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more intriguing videos on history's most captivating stories on your favorite channel, The Culinary Timeline. So, let's begin. In the heart of Mount Vernon, amidst the serene beauty of nature, a rustic dining table stood as a silent witness to the unfolding of history. The early morning sun cast a warm glow over the estate, illuminating the cheerful hustle and bustle in the kitchen. And what better place to start than with breakfast? Forget your morning toast, Washington was actually a man of hearty appetite, favoring a dish called hoe cakes. These were unleavened cornmeal griddle cakes often served with butter and honey. They are called hoe cakes because in desperate times, they were cooked on a type of iron pan called a hoe, which is a traditional method. The aroma of freshly baked hoe cakes and the rich fragrance of butter and honey filled the air, enveloping the homestead in an atmosphere of comfort and familiarity. According to Business Insider, the first US president enjoyed hoe cakes topped with honey. The dish originated from a Native American recipe and is now considered a classic American breakfast. Another report from mountvernon.org states Washington preferred his hoe cakes swimming in butter and honey. One guest surmised that having the hoe cake softened with honey and butter made it easier for Washington to chew his breakfast. To prepare this classic breakfast, you just have to beat cream cheese and butter until smooth in a large bowl and then add eggs, mixing well. Beat in the milk until smooth. Combine flour, cornmeal, baking powder and salt. Now, stir into the cream cheese mixture until just moistened. Now, pour the batter by one quarter cups into a large greased cast iron skillet or hot griddle. Cook until the second side is golden brown. One classic serving suggestion is sour cream and salsa. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever tried these delicious breakfast delights. Anyhow, let's move on to the other dishes on the menu liked by the father of the American nation. As the day progressed, Washington's culinary journey continued, offering a glimpse into his captivating palate. The midday meal at Mount Vernon brought forth a symphony of flavors and aromas, intricately woven into the fabric of daily life. Hearty roasts, succulent freshwater fish, and an array of tarts and fruits adorned the table, each dish a testament to the president's discerning taste and appreciation for the finer things in life. You will be surely surprised to know that Washington indulged in dishes like roast ox head, stewed sheep's head, and boiled calves feet. These may sound strange to our modern palate, but they were considered delicacies back then. Historical records from Mount Vernon revealed that the Washington family enjoyed two substantial meals a day, with offerings that ranged drastically from savory roast beef to freshwater fish as well brought in from the local waters, and the variety was exceptional. In fact, Washington's table was also graced by more delicate flavors of tarts and fruits, displaying a versatile palate that could appreciate both the robust and refined. As per confirmations in the report by foodtimeline.org, George Washington is often associated with cherries and cherry pie. According to his biographers, America's first president did indeed love cherries and cherry pie made in an authentically American way. It's simple enough to give it a go yourself. Start by mixing cherries with some other ingredients like sugar and spices and set aside for about 30 minutes. 
Roll out a piece of pastry to be about a quarter inch thick and use it to line an eight or nine inch pie plate. Leave about half an inch of pastry hanging over the edge of the pie plate. Fill the pie with the cherry mixture and set aside. Roll out another piece of pastry to use for the top crust. Traditionally, a cherry or berry pie has a lattice top. However, you can make a solid top if you wish. There you go, simple as that. Why not give it a try at home and make yourself one of George Washington's favorites? Now in what might come as a revelation to many, ice cream was among the delights enjoyed at Mount Vernon. This unexpected penchant for a dessert that many today would consider a modern indulgence hints at the innovative and curious nature of Washington's character, further adding layers to the complex persona of the man beyond the presidency. However, recent research suggests that this story might be a myth. Ice cream was a rare and expensive luxury back then, and it's more likely that it simply wasn't available at the time that easily. Yet we have to consider it too, while mentioning the delights that Washington enjoyed. Moreover, one of the biggest mysteries is his love for strong alcoholic beverages. He was known to enjoy rum, whiskey, and even homemade cherry bounce. Some historians believed he used alcohol to cope with the stress of war and leadership. Washington loved his spirits as well as beer and wine. According to the reports, he usually liked fresh farm-made authentic unique beer and wine from the lands. Tastingtable.com also mentioned that George Washington was known for being a generous host in his home in Mount Vernon, serving up feasts for guests including roast beef, goose, pork, mutton, cabbage, onions, potatoes and pickles, followed by mince pies, tarts, fruit, nuts and cheese. With a spread like that, you would struggle to get rid of me. You may be thinking that these habits paint the picture of an eccentric leader, but it's important to remember that Washington lived in a very different time. Food options were limited, and entertainment revolved around social gatherings and outdoor activities. Perhaps the most enigmatic revelation of all is Washington's rumored fondness for French cuisine. Yes, you heard it right. Despite the political tensions between America and France at the time, Washington was known to enjoy the finer aspects of French gastronomy. From delicate pastries to rich sauces, he embraced the French culinary traditions. And frankly, who can blame him? In this culinary saga, the dining table at Mount Vernon emerged as more than just a place for sustenance. It became a stage for storytelling, where each dish unfolded a chapter of Washington's life, revealing the vibrant flavors and the unspoken stories that defined his legacy. As we conclude George Washington's unexplained taste revelations, one thing becomes clear that his culinary legacy transcends borders and centuries, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the complex tapestry of American history. His choices reflect a pioneering spirit, one that embraced the land's bounty with a keen sense of sustainability and self-reliance. And there you have it, folks, the untold story of George Washington's culinary adventures. We have only scratched the surface of George Washington's rich and varied taste preferences each dish offering a glimpse into the life and times of America's first president. The dining table has a tale to tell, a narrative that goes beyond mere sustenance, transcending into a realm where history and flavors intertwine. As we taste these historical flavors, somehow we connect with a side of Washington that was personal, intimate, and delightfully human. What do these culinary choices tell us about Washington the man, and how do they reflect the broader narrative of American history? The answers to these questions add depth to our understanding of the past, showing us that even in dining, there's much to be learned. And do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed George Washington's taste revelations, give us a like, share the video, and for more engaging historical content related to the fabulous culinary adventures of the past, consider subscribing to our channel to check out our previous videos on some tremendously tasty delights of your favorite personalities. Don't miss out on our next adventure into the past because it's going to be a delicious one. Remember, history isn't just about the dates and documents, but it's about the flavors, the tales, and the unexplained mysteries waiting to be discovered. Like the mystery of why I don't have a piece of cherry pie in front of me right now. I think something needs to be done about that pretty quickly. So my friends, stay tuned and keep exploring the flavors that shaped our world.